Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Janal Novel and this is your Midday News Brief. The government of St. Lucia remains resolute in its efforts to build a new St. Lucia. According to Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Growth, Job Creation, External Affairs and the Public Service, the Honorable Alan Chastney, the country is repositioning itself as a leader in so many positive ways. He goes on to note that with a capable team, as well as the support and encouragement of many hard-working St. Lucians, St. Lucia has remained on a steady path towards progress as the government continues its thrust to build a new St. Lucia. While numbers and figures are not the only way to measure success, the government is pleased with the progress that it has been making towards economic growth, reduction in unemployment, a reduction in the debt-to-GDP ratio, and other indices that show that the country is on the right path. The Prime Minister indicated that the success of the country should not only be measured by mere figures, but by the impact of programs on the lives of St. Lucians in every community. He pledged that the government will continue to chart this course towards economic growth as it endeavors to create more opportunities for every citizen to live in a St. Lucia that is safe, prosperous and harmonious as the government embarks on programs that will redound to the better quality of life for all St. Lucians. He expressed gratitude to the people of St. Lucia for their support and asked that they continue to support the government on this road towards a better tomorrow. Over the last three years, 2016 to 2018, the country saw a reduction in unemployment, which stood at 20.1% in 2018. The economy continues to grow and has grown by 8% since 2016. The debt-to-GDP ratio has fallen from 67.7% in 2015 to 64.9% in 2018. Government's revenue grew by 6.4%. Stayover visitors have increased from 344,000 in 2015 to 395,000 in 2018. Overall, St. Lucia recorded just over 1.2 million visitors in 2018. Banana exports grew by 3.2% to almost 14,000 tons, and export revenue increased by $1.9 million to $20.3 million in 2018. In 2018, receipts from the Citizenship by Investment Program were significantly higher at $66.4 million compared to $27.8 million the year before. Larger primary surplus up from $52.3 million to $101.5 million and a lower overall fiscal deficit down to $69.7 million from $110.1 million the year before. Public debt to GDP declined to 64.9% in 2018 from 65.2% in 2017. VAT reduction from 15% to 12.5%, amnesty on outstanding hospital bills, three-year amnesty on personal income tax, and improvement in elderly caregivers program by employing 450 persons island-wide. St. Lucia is poised to become a leader in wildlife and conservation in the OECSA with a newly signed Memorandum of Understanding. The MOU will guide the way ahead for improved and sustainable forestry and wildlife conservation in St. Lucia. The Government of St. Lucia and the Association for Conservation of Threatened Parrots, ACTP, met to formally recognize the agreements made to augment infrastructure and services of the Gabriel Charles Forestry Complex and to preserve St. Lucia's national bird, the Amazona versicolor. The agriculture trade mission to Europe is starting to bear fruit. St. Lucia bananas are now headed to the French market. A few weeks ago, Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning, Natural Resources and Cooperatives, Honorable Ezekiel Joseph, and Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Growth, Job Creation, External Affairs and the Public Service, the Honorable Alan Chastney, led a trade mission to meet with strategic banana partners in Europe, where they were able to identify new markets and opportunities while forging partnerships to ensure that the St. Lucia brand of banana will have more visibility on the UK market. Another success from this trip was the commencement of supplying bananas to the French market. A three-week banana shipping trial commenced last week. That's all for the Midday News Brief. Thanks for tuning in.